oh, we're live. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Hi. So today I have a special guest. We might have to introduce her a couple times. So I am Heather, the owner of UU Yarns, and I like to come in live once a week and chat about yarn and knitting and what's happening here at UU. If you want to say hello in the chat and maybe tell me where you're call coming in from or what you're knitting. I've got a nice warm cup of coffee today. So do I. Right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yes, right. I have a special guest with me today, <laughs> which is pretty exciting. <laughs> so this is Pauline, and she happens to be also my mother-in-law. And a great supporter of UU Yarns. And in fact, she has designed several beautiful, mostly baby blankets that I thought we could talk about the history of all the fun things that Pauline has designed for UU Yarns. Oh, hi, Judy. Nice to see you today. Sunny California. I know we do have some sunshine back again. I'm so thrilled. <laughs> Not not as warm as I was expecting. No. I just flew in from Boston in yeah. a snowstorm, but it, it's it's sunny, so yeah. it's wonderful. Snowy Northwest Wisconsin. Wow. Hi, Kathy. Nice to see you. Hi, Jeannie. Very wet whales. <laughs> nice to meet you. <clears throat> Nancy. Yes, you're from Arizona. Freezing. Yeah, it's cold here. It goes down to like 34 at night. I've had some wind chill, like real frost. <laughs> so I thought, I thought we could talk about, I like to start with what we're knitting. So keeping with my knit tracker for 2023, I have knit most days. I've missed two so far in January, but I have at least knit like one row on all of these little bubble days, <laughs> which was more than I was doing before. So it's fun to keep track. Oh, hi, Megan. It's my friend, Megan. Oh, hi, Megan. I remember you. <laughs> How are you? Megan is dropping in. That's good. Time to move to Florida. I like San Diego. I think, I think we have a good thing going here. <laughs> so what are you knitting today, Pauline? Do you have a project with you? I do. Okay. I, I like mitered corner blankets. Yeah. It started as a project I wanted to do one for each of my five grandchildren so when they leave high school they and they look like patchwork quilts but this this one was just some you go hold it up oh oh like a neat is that a self-striping yarn yes it cool. is the, this particular all right the, it's this pretty is colors, isn't this it? will probably be a donation yeah uh, we love charity knitting yeah our senior center is always asking for blankets for people so I, I find the mitered corner it's simply knitting but it looks fun and you can do it when you're sitting at a desk and you're supposed to be greeting people and no one comes in or what have you so i i take and there's it no with me. seams right there are no seams you, you pick up you as as you go yeah the, there's very and little sewing finishing off it just goes from one square to the next and it, it's a good one if you can't be following a pattern every minute. Oh, yeah. Well, I am following a pattern right yes. now. I am working on this Ilya sweater. Here you go. This one that I've been talking about for a long time. I have finally made some good fancy progress. I'm working wow. on that chart. So you can really start to see the stitch pattern coming together. My main color will be this dark blue where the, the gold is on her sweater. Mine will be that blue color. So you can see, yeah, here, this was my swatch. So you can see it'll kind of be more of this tone as it gets going. So this is like the funnel neck at the top. So it's like the pharaoh. It is, yes. Yeah. So great, yes, great that fun. is what I'm working on. And there's a couple other knitters in the community working on it with me. One, I know Paula and Aubrey are both working on it with me. So there's a section in the community that you can join along if you want to knit it. 
I've got all the specs and how to do the gauge and I've been adding videos as we so yeah if you've never knit a sweater like that or you want to join along that is how that one is going oh yes I know I will get the the posts up on the Carbeth cardigan yes we have a lot to, I have to move them over I have them they're all there I will work on that Judy I'm glad you're knitting it so what is everyone else is anyone else knitting anything fun lately? But my main order of business today is we have Pauline here. So <laughs> I, I don't know if you caught at the beginning. Pauline is my mother-in-law. So she has been a grand supporter of UU Yarns since I started. From the conception. Yes, 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 yes. Very many, exciting. It's many long years. Hard to realize just... So how simple it was when you started. <laughs> yeah. What What is your favorite color of UU yarns? Oh, the berry. Oh, oh, always, berry. always crushed raspberry berry. Yes. yes. Yeah, well, it matches Just, your sweater. Yes. Oh, I think maybe maybe the new Heathers one matches your sweater. The Heathers, I have to say, I have really fallen in love with. They're a great, great addition. Yes. The subtleties. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can see. This is the regular woolly worsted in berry. And then this one is the heathered and it has sort of charcoal and silver mixed through on the fibers. So it just sort of tones back that neon color of the regular berry, but well, I'm glad berries, yeah. you know, I'm the pink girl too. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, so I pulled together a bunch of <laughs> <laughs> projects that Pauline has designed over the years we cord we kind of co-design shall we say it pauline comes up with an idea and jots notes down on the back of an envelope and then <laughs> <laughs> heather has the really hard job of really writing a true pattern she understands my hieroglyphics and my little shortcomings and <laughs> and, and produces the product that you get yes yes i'm i'm a I, I plan to begin with that I will write everything down. And the next thing um, is six rows have gone by and I haven't written a thing. And so. Yeah, so it's a forensic knitting pattern. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I have some beautiful ones that have come from over the years. This one is called the Wavy Baby Blanket. And it is a mix of a fan stitch and seed stitch panels so it's all one piece but forensic knitting i love that yet. <laughs> this is the right side oh excuse me yeah, that, yeah. that's okay yeah yeah i love seed stitch and yes. i love eyelets so any design good... i have you will find seed stitch and eyelets at some point in it yeah so this um, has a nice feather and fan this one's called the wavy baby blanket and it is in lavender woolly worsted which is a beautiful thing and it's washable hi wendy from snowy detroit nice to see you I, I hope all of you have used heather's yarn at some point well it is <laughs> as as a random knitter designer <laughs> um i rip out frog people call it frogging in this yes, country i believe it, rip it, rip yeah it, or rip it a ribbit ribbit rip but <laughs> And th this is the most forgiving yarn. You can knit it, pull it out, start again. It bounces back. It has a wonderful feel for a knitter, especially when you're trying to create and you're not as sophisticated as some designers. My, mine is very well, we organic. All, we all rip out our knitting. That's It's about the but journey. It, it, it just, and it's been washed and washed and it just bounces right back at you. It has wonderful body. And texture and the yarn doesn't split unlike some yarns i've yes, used where that is true you know, this yes. beautiful one is called the buttercup blanket it's in our color called lemon chiffon this one is sport weight so it's a little lighter good for summer weight yeah for or babies. if baby lives in a warm climate yes still good so this one has a basket weave that's another pauline yes, favorite yes this has a basket weave border with like a honeycomb eyelet stitch pattern that goes all the way around another pretty one. Oh, thank you nancy you agree about the yarn <laughs> yes 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 um kuma can you move just a little bit Come on. the joy of dogs <laughs> big a, big she, dogs she's a regular on the program yes <laughs> she likes to hang out with me 
it's okay. You can move down. Yes. Oh, oh, this uh, is so the this Charles is the, and Chelsea. Yeah. Yes, the oh, we can move to the Charles and Chelsea. This has been the most popular blanket by Pauline. This was one visit, and I was leaving, I think, 48 hours later, and Heather said, I need a new blanket. <laughs> yes, oh, I don't know if you can see it all the way back. So this is kind of a patchwork seed stitch, garter stitch, or uh, seed stitch, and reverse stockinette, and regular stockinette that transfers back and forth, and then the one end has mm. a... She, she's, she's quite a taskmaster. Border. She she cracks the whip <laughs> right. and cooks me an amazing meal at the end. <laughs> right. So everyone's yes. happy. This was this was a fun one. This was this you was did a fun this fast. One. Yes, that that there, was. There is on our bulky yarn, which it helped. Um, it helped yes, having yes. I think it's up on. I don't know if it's on a ten and a half or an eleven needle, but it is one of the most mo most knit UU blankets at this point. Because yeah. it's so fun and it keeps you going with those little patchwork panels and you can make it in all sorts of pretty colors of bulky. Like if you don't, this green, the soft sage is always good if, you know, you don't know what the baby is or the lemon or if the parents aren't into the pink and blue thing. You know, we have a lot of good color options. You know what else I did? I pulled up all of Pauline's patterns so I can drop a link yes which one so here is a link I'm going to put it in the chat and that is all of the patterns um that Pauline has and, and designed I think Megan has helped proofread my <laughs> yes, patterns yes, hasn't she? yes yes <laughs> you really wouldn't want to we look actually, at my actual patterns <laughs> we actually just reworked one of them because we I messed it up too <laughs> There's a lot more goes into knitting than so this just... one is called the Charles and Chelsea. If that was the one, Patty, if that was the one you were asking about, mm -hmm. I can go back through them all. But if you tell me the pink one or the green one, whatever, I'll try and do my best. But that link has all of the patterns. I don't have them all here to show today because there's mm -hmm. a lot of them. And then you've also done fun things. This is like a little Papoose. baby bag. I think we call it a snuggler. Mm -hmm. So it is, you know a cute little hat and <laughs> baby bag. You learn how to do an eye cord. Yes, <laughs> it's, knit, it's knit in a tube, just like a hat basically. And then, yeah, there's an eye cord at the bottom and you have those eyelets up here. So you just cinch it together with this cute little eye cord and then the hat is put together the same way. So the hat- I love the hat. Yeah, the hat is very so cute. cute. So yeah, it kind of finishes off the same way. Oh, love the duo. Hi, Katie. Nice to see you today. <laughs> yeah, this is very yeah. exciting for me. I haven't visited <laughs> since pre-pandemic. Yes. I was I was here in the January when the pandemic broke out. Yes. So I'm just thrilled to be here and spend time. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, January of 2020 was the last time we got to see Pauline. So mm. we have her here for a week and we're having fun. Mm. She just arrived yesterday. Yeah. I left the snow and arrived to the sunshine. So just <laughs> not a yeah. bad deal. All right. We have a couple more. Oh, we still have, we have, I got more stashed over here too. This is another stitch sampler one, but with a lot more stitch going on. It's a very beautiful one called Pink Sky Dreams. So this has, excuse me, Pauline, this has feather and fan and seed stitch and basket weave this is a whole collection of volumes <laughs> <laughs> but it's very pretty this one is in sport weight again a little lighter weight but you can see it's got a good scale to it just nice big cozy blanket what yarn is the baby bag knit with that is woolly worsted so that is in the soft sage color of the worsted weight it takes mm. I want to say it takes four balls. I can't remember. I know. It's three or four. There we go. Here we are. Four skeins to make the set. So it's three for the little bag and one for the hat. Here's a link to that one. Okay. So this was the Pink Sky Dreams. Very pretty one. Yes. Thank you, Donna. Thanks for asking. Oh, Katie says, nice to meet you, Polly. <laughs> 
I was not expecting this, <laughs> but, it, but it is fun. I know. It's my first time doing yes. anything live. Um, you, I know I kind, of am, I kind of ambushed her yesterday. I was like, oh, I think you're going to join me. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, oh. <laughs> Oh, do you remember this one, Pauline? This one oh, the card? hearts. Yes. This wow. was, this is, yeah, this is old, like one of the early days. But yes. it's very, oh, I have the wrong side again. Once again. No. No? No. No, I didn't. No, okay. you have the right side. Excuse me. Yes, yeah. My bad. The hearts were fun. They they took a little bit of work. Yeah, yeah, we had to make a chart. Right, yes, we had to. Oh, that's right. I was looking for that. It has a little twisted stitch up the side, too. Like a mock. I table. like to change things up. I get bored again, of knitting can... the same thing over. So, but it, still, it's it's a variation on the theme. The yes, uh, yes, stitch yes. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, it is. <laughs> I like it. This is one of my favorites. The sweetheart. I love hearts. Me too. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know it's funny. I actually wasn't a big fan of hearts until I was sat down to design the UU logo, and I just kept putting a heart in it, and I'm like. Well, I guess I'm excited about and a hot pink heart at that. <laughs> I guess I'm excited about this brand I'm creating. Oh, then we have this one. This is one of those. It's like a really easy blanket. Super but then, easy, but it looks uh, so cute. With and then you put border. the border. My mom made me one of made one of those for her niece a few years ago. It was a hit. Which one? Oh, the sweetheart. Oh, I remember when Katie made that. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. Cute. Mm, yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. Can you help here? Oh, oh yep, there we yep, go. Okay. All right, this is called the Bibbidi Bobbidi <laughs> blanket. This <laughs> one, I was inspired. Boo. My mother knit the most amazing fine wool blanket for Heather's husband, my son Thomas. Many, many years ago, I still have it wrapped very carefully because you can't just throw it in the washer or the dryer. But it was much fancier than this, but it had a beautiful border. And that's what inspired this particular one. I, you know, the middle is, but I wanted to add a little detail on the border. It just yes. makes it a little special. So this um, is one of the, this is a corner to corner. Yes, it's fun to know, do. You know, where you kind of increase at the end. You start at the bottom, yeah. work across, and then decrease again. At the other end. And, and then, then the, yeah, the border is put on. You knit that separately and then you stitch, stitch it, on. it on. Yes. But yeah. both, yeah, not none of it's too hard no no not at all a lovely shawl oh you know what i thought it would make a lovely shawl too so <laughs> happened <laughs> that pauline made a lovely shawl much in the same concept mm. so this is kind of you can tell okay. there's a love here for knitting the two of us and oh, it has been a huge see. inspiration this is a little more hard to see in the light. Once um, again, the okay, eyelet. Here, yes, here we are. Let me get it still. So the, it's a kind of a bias stitch diagonal eyelet pattern. Wow, it is not showing up in the light for us on no, the camera. Yes. <laughs> it's so pretty. But then it also has a pretty border that is knit and sewn on after. Let me see if I can pull this one up because it is... It's not doing it justice here in the in this light. Oh, here it is. It's called the Sea Breeze Scarf. And it's such a fun pattern to make. Here we are. So, but yeah, I love this. I do actually wear this one because it's so pretty and kind of, it's just a really nice size too. Like maybe if I get it on. yeah maybe i don't know no you can't really see no, it no, strange it's, it's... anyway it's a little dark and dim this morning i guess oh, anyway this is the sea breeze scarf which was inspired by that border okay, on yeah. that one and then i think one of the most recent was Pond's oh, square in the I, have, I haven't seen this put together <laughs> well yeah, I, yeah it's only partially put together. you can see um, my love of certain <laughs> stitches here have a neighbor that just had a baby girl. You're making it hard to decide. Oh, well, we can chat. So oh, this is fun. The celebration blanket, which for the UU Yarns 10th anniversary, which was in 20... Last year. 21. Oh, and now 23. Yes, wow. Yes, 
So in 2021, I asked 12 designers to kind of donate a square for my anniversary blanket. And then we put it together and went out each year or each month. So yes, I guess it goes, it goes this way is the right way up. So this was Megan's. She was, she's on tuning in with us today, this beautiful leaf motif. Yeah. And then this is Pauline's. (laughs) Which <laughs> you can say. <laughs> you can see the stitches I love. <laughs> Seed stitch and basket weave and some eyelets. And this is the celebration blanket squares are still a free pattern. You get all 12 of them. And I have videos about how to assemble the blanket when you're done. It takes, this is in worsted weight. It takes 24 balls, seven of the main color, two main colors and five of the contrasting colors so it's it's bigger than I remember yes I know you thought it was going to be small yes (laughs) it's two balls isn't it two skeins for each square it was fun it was fun doing yes Um, let's see if I have a link to the celebration blanket that oh there it is here's our course I got blanket I got the hot pink the berry color so all 12 are combined Still one of my favorite UU patterns. Playing with the colors was awesome. Thank you, Megan. Did you finish? You finished yours, right? I have not finished my own one. I need to. We had all this working the whole time. So that was what was, those are some fun UU patterns designed by Pauline. As you can see, there was even more, (laughs) but I thought this was a good selection to get us started or get us chatting for today. But yeah, I love I do love this square. I think this is actually the one I'm knitting right now on my blanket. <clears throat> so if you have any questions, you know, I like to hang out and chat. Three blocks to go. Plans for this year. Good job, Megan. Maybe maybe we can sew it together. <laughs> we can actually finish it. So yeah, if you have any questions about UU or patterns or anything, we can hang out for a couple minutes. I think most of my patterned beginners can work, can't they? I would think they're, so. They're, they're yeah. not overly complicated. No, I yeah. think you do a good job of There we go. Anyway, our thingy is a ding over there. So, yeah, I would say, yes, the Charles and Chelsea has been one of our popular breakout, <laughs> breakout hits. Well, everybody loves a bulky knit, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can't not. <laughs> Mm. so i'm glad you got to join me today for our oh, thank you this has chat. been so much fun first yes. for me and uh, <laughs> it's always fun so yeah if anybody has any questions for me or pauline we can hang out for a couple minutes and then we'll eventually go and have lunch thanks katie Mm-hmm. That was lovely. A lot of fun. Thank you, Jeannie. <laughs> Thanks for coming today. So I'll post this in the community and then I'll have links to all these blankets and the whole Pauline Woolpole knitting collection. <laughs> fame. Fame has finally found me in Southern California. Uh, yes, I, is... like, I like to say famous among dozens. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So yes, it's uh, it's a lot of fun yeah. to come on and so I think we have some orders to pack today. I know we have some. So I think that's what we're going to be doing. Oh, and then we have knit night tonight. Oh, yes. That's always we a lot my, of fun. My local sip and stitch group. We meet at a brewery. Mm. We've do been meeting for almost 10 years now. Yeah. Do you most believe? of you belong to knitting communities mm-hmm. where you live? I don't know where you're all coming from. But... Yeah, kind of all over. Yeah. Oh, oh, Judy says, nice to meet you, Pauline. Thank you, Judy. And lovely to see you, Pauline. Glad I signed in today. Yeah, I'm I glad know. you did too, Megan. Good. Well, this was a lot of fun. And yeah, thanks for coming. And I'll be back again next week. If you have any questions or ideas of chat topic, or just in general, you can let me know and we'll get it on the schedule. Oh, I belong to Truly Myrtle Group. That's nice. Good. Yeah, it's fun. And that's what I try and help provide here in the UU community is a place where we can share, even though we're not actually together, but hopefully we can share fun knitting stuff and see what each other are knitting, whether or not it's UU. I love to see what you're working on because I believe we should all be creating in some capacity. 
like I said, it doesn't have to be with my yarn. <laughs> I just yeah, want to just make keep, it. Just keep knitting. Just yes. keep, just keep for the soul. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So yes, I hope yeah. you have a great day. Bye. Lovely meeting all of you. <laughs> this has been fun.